Working in social care, you provide active support to those individuals that need help with day-to-day -day living. You treat them with respect and dignity and take into account their needs, wishes and preferences, enabling them to use their existing strengths and maximise their own potential. The scenes within this video are set within care home and domiciliary settings, but the learning points are applicable to all social care staff, regardless of setting. No two days are the same, as no two individuals' needs are exactly the same. Many things have a bearing on your working day, just like in your home life. Some of these things are foreseeable, and others come as a surprise to you. Because of this, you find working within social care full of variety and greatly rewarding. But what happens when you come across something that doesn't seem quite right to you and causes you concern? Frank, what are you doing sitting there like that? You haven't been there since lunch. Surely that was hours ago. What happened? I... Uh, no time. Marion in the hurry. Alice, you look very cold. It's 11 o'clock. Have you been like this all morning? Well, she said she'd come back. I got partly dressed and she said she'd come back and help me, but she hadn't been. Well, don't worry. I'll make sure this doesn't happen again. Who came to see you this morning? Now, what did you want to see me about? Um, I'm worried about Mrs Weston. I feel like she's not been turned enough in bed and it may develop into pressure sores later on. OK, leave it with me. I'll see that that's dealt with. Will oh. you keep still and let me brush your hair? You look a right mess. Oh, leave me alone! Please don't hurt me. I'll do more than that if you don't shut up. That's what you'll get. Sometimes, how to respond to the situation appropriately may seem challenging. You may have concerns or a suspicion that something is wrong that needs to be raised, but are worried about speaking out. Belinda has just begun work at Greenside's care home. She's been sharing shifts with Anita, who has been a care worker for the last ten years. Look, leave it. It's just so pissed. I've told you already. A cup of tea no, you morning. can't. You stay there. I'll get it when I'm ready. What if I do report it to my manager? How will she take it? Anita's my mentor. What will everyone else think? In this video, we take a look at your responsibility to report concerns how to go about doing this, and the support available to you when concerns arise. As a social care worker or volunteer, you need to remember that your first responsibility is to promote the safety and well-being of the individuals you support, protecting them from danger, harm and abuse at all times. This and your understanding of the principles of person-centred care should give you the confidence that sharing your concerns or asking questions is the right thing to do. It will also help you think about the best way to do this. Remember, you will need to develop trust with the service users and the people you work alongside so that they and you feel able to raise and communicate concerns about actual or likely danger, harm or abuse. Can I tell you something? Of course. I much prefer you to that other one, Marianne. She never really has much time for me and she treats me like a child. Thank you.